important things, Panda. The important thing is, I like you. And I always want to be your best friend. <laughs> and I always want to be your best friend, Donkey. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hugs sound amazing. Then what are we waiting for? It's time for Squishy, Squishy Lemon Hugs. <laughs> Hug hugs. Hug hugs. So squishy. <laughs> New on PBS Kids. Oh, why did this raven drop a piece of wood on my head? She's reminding us there's new adventures of Wildcraft. Streaming now, free on PBS Kids. On PBS Kids, kids are talking about big feelings. Sometimes I'm scared of doing new things. I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to make any friends and I wouldn't know where anything was in the school. Real kids, real parents talk about the real importance of creating healthy habits for managing emotions. Is it okay to be sad? Yeah. I know that you're there to help me and it makes me feel safe. Stream all new episodes of PBS Kids Talk About now on PBS Kids. Funding for Don Quixote has been provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. These generous supporters, and by viewers like you. Thank you. this would do if I put this right here. Oh, she got stuck. I want them to go in a different direction. Oh. What can you become? Hey there, is this yours? Yeah. What's your name? Tony. Hi, Tony, I'm Ryan. What are you doing over here? I'm trying to figure out how to put the marbles in here and make it all go around. Looks like you have some problem solving to do. Looks like a lot what I do. I'm a robotics instructor. What is a robotic instructor? A robotics instructor teaches kids how to use computers to make robots do different things and solve problems. Just like what's going on with your marble maze. Do you want to see what I do? Yes. I got into robotics because I like tinkering and solving problems. What is a robot? A robot is a machine that has a brain with a microchip inside for us to tell it what to do. What do you like about your job? One of the greatest things I like about my job is giving students access to robots that they might not have. And it's really cool to see them pick it up and build a robot out of just pieces. Would you like to learn how to build a robot? Yeah. All right. So we use this box to organize all our parts where we can see each and every one of them. We use those pieces to finish the robot. Did you want to give it a shot? Yeah. Now take a piece out and see where we can use it. We can always take things on, take things off. All we have to do is find the little pig and snap it right in. And that is how we tinker. So now our machine is built. Now let's test it out. Press the check mark. How do you make it go forward and backwards? Well, to make it go forward and backwards, we use these joysticks. There you go. When you spin it around a circle, it's called a robot dance. We can all spin, right? <laughs> you did an awesome job in building this robot. Just like your marbles earlier, we tinkered with it, we changed it, we put it together, and now look what we have, a working robot. Good job. This gave me ideas to make the marbles do different things. Awesome. I like your job. Playing with robots are fun. Maybe one day you could be a robot instructor. If you'd like to be creative and tinker around with toys to change them and improve them, you might enjoy working as a robotics instructor too. 
And there are a lot of other jobs you might find interesting. You could be a mechanic and fix cars, program 3D printers, and create things to help people, or even be part of a team that figures out how to get rockets in space. Imagine the possibilities. It's the really, really awesome PBS Kids Activity Challenge. Looking for something fun to do with your friends? Your grandma? How about your brother's dirty gym sock? PBS Kids challenges you to take on this awesome activity right now. So get up and get sniffing with a game of Sniff and Tell. Moray eels don't see too well, but uh, we sure have a strong sense of smell. Really? I never knew that. In fact, my sniffer tells me there's a snack around here somewhere. Sounds great! Let's go! With your grandma's help, start your sniff and tell by gathering safe things like cheese, soap, grass, pine needles, dirty socks, and more. Now blindfold a friend and have them sniff and guess what it is, but not too close. Take turns with a blindfold. Take turns sniffing and telling. So? Get up, get out, and start your really, really awesome PBS Kids Activity Challenge now! Come home to PBS Kids and... Hey, everyone! Molly of Denali. Good morning! Trini, Tui, and... Hi! Molly! Best friends. Welcome to Kaya! Ordinary adventurers. We're a team. Ordinary families. Now let's get cooking. And the extraordinary place they call home. It's beautiful. Molly of Denali on PBS Kids. Next time on It's Academic. Students from McLean, Basis Independent, Chantilly, Jefferson, Centerville, and Einstein. They're back in studio for the ultimate showdown, the It's Academic Playoffs, Saturday, or stream it on the PBS app. Curiosity running. Kitty Academy Education.